we now have a better understanding of how El Paso Animal Services will be using a former West El Paso Middle School as its newest shelter. This as Animal Services continues its push to get more pets adopted. KFOX 14 News at 5's Jacqueline Quinones joins us live from what will be the new shelter and tells us when this project is expected to be complete. Moorhead Middle School, which transitioned into a migrant shelter, will now also house pets. The director of uh, animal services tells me that he wants to be able to reach more people and have easier access for pet adoption. This uh, location on the west side, it's, it's more towards regular shopping areas and stuff, so it's going to give us better exposure to get more adoptions. Terry Capshaw, the director of animal services, tells me that only a portion of the building will be used by the department. He says the rest will still be used for to house migrants. As we reported, El Paso City Council purchased a vacant school from the El Paso School District in September of last year. We still have uh, overpopulation here in our community. Um, so we're constantly doing adoptions, uh, educating on responsible pet ownership, uh, disease control, uh, you name it. Kepschel says that besides the animal shelter, they are currently housing cats at the zoo. So this will give another location for people to adopt cats. This will give us an, an option to have cats in another part of town. So we have, already have like the tails at the time, so we don't have any cats there. And that's a lot of people ask for those types of things. Um, and it's also going to be a better place for the public to go and see the animals. Capshaw says they are currently at 60 percent of the design phase. It's built out in phases. So phase one is going to basically give us a roughly 100 plus kennels, depending on the size of the animals. Um, so that's going to be phase one and give us the, that cat adoption ability. Capshaw encourages the public to adopt pets rather than buy. The city is overpopulated. We're asking people to adopt rather than uh, purchase animals from backyard breeders. The construction is expected to be completed by 2025. Reporting in West El Paso, Jacqueline Quinones, KFOX 14 News at 5.